Welcome to English Without Limits. In our last lesson, we were learning about how to use this and that, these and those, to ask for things in a store. Today we're going to learn something else about stores. When you buy something and it breaks and you have to take it back to the store, what do you say? We're going to learn the language that you need to return something to the store. I hope you enjoy the lesson. In our last lesson, we were learning about when to use this and that, these and those. Sometimes it can be confusing because there will be one object and people call it this and then call it that at the same time. Do you remember the rule? It's this if it's close to me, that if it's far away. These and those the same way if it's more than one thing that we're talking about. Let's join the class as they begin to review these things. Okay, well, welcome back. What did we talk about last time? What is those? What are those? Good. What would you say for this? What is that? What is that? Good. What if I'm very close? What, what, is this? Is this? what is this? Why? Why? What is this? Because it's closer. Because it's closer. How about now? What is those. that? Those. That. that. What is that? Good. How about the salt shaker? What is this? This. Good. And the shoes? What is? What is this? Is? This. This. Mm. What, what are these? Are. These. these, these, what are these? What are? Are these. Are those. Good. All right. Do you remember the rules now? If something is close to you and you are the person speaking, you say this for one thing, these if there is more than one thing. And if it is farther away from you, you are the person speaking, you say that or for more than one thing, you would say those. So if I have something that is close to me, I can touch it, and I say, what is this? If you are close to me so that you can touch it too, you would say, this is a toothbrush. But if you are farther away, you can't touch it. You would say, that is a toothbrush. And if there is more than one thing, I would say, what are these if they are close to me? Now, if these are farther away from me, if you have them, I don't have them, I might say, what are those? And you would answer, if you had them, you would say, these are. Or if I have them, I would say, these are two pens. Well, that's the way the rules work for that. Let's look at this on the screen to see how the questions and answers look together. If we say, what is this? This is a toothbrush. What is that? That is a toothbrush. If there is more than one thing, what are these? These are pens. What are those? Those are pens. Now remember we use this or that, these or those, because of the person speaking, if they are close to the thing, close enough to touch it. If they are farther away, they would say that or those. Very good. I'm glad you remember that. Have you ever bought something in the store and after you buy it, it breaks? It was not your fault, but it broke. In many cultures, you can go back to the store and they will replace it. They will give you another one. But if you're going to do that, there are certain things that you need to have. And there are certain things that you need to be able to say to them or understand when they say to you. So let's join the class now as they begin to learn about how to return something to the store. Now, sometimes you buy something in the store and it looks perfect. No problems, right? 
But then you come home and, oh no, there's, there's a problem. Okay? So I bought a brand new pair of gloves. Oh, it's very nice. They're very warm and wow, one dollar. Good price, good price. And I put them on and everything's good. But then, oh, hello, what's this? I could take my pencil and if I can get it in the right finger here. To do, to do, to do. I think I have a problem. There is, oh no, there's a hole. There's a hole in my glove. That's a problem. What can I do? Go change back. Go change back, okay. What else do you think I could do? Throw in the garbage. Throw in the garbage, yes. But I don't want to throw in the garbage. I could fix them, yes. You can sew it. I could sew it back together, that's true. Or, like two said, I can take it back to the store and I might say, these are broken. And they'll go, oh, okay. And they'll take and give me a whole new pair, a brand new pair. But not every store does this. Not every store does this. Some say, no, we're not, we won't take them back. You have to fix it yourself. Or how long ago did you buy this? If I say, I bought this two years ago, oh, well, then we can't, we can't take it back. Okay? So, what you need to do is keep your receipt. It's a piece of paper that says you bought gloves for one dollar and it will tell you what the store's return policy is. Will it accept it back? Okay. So if it says return with original receipt what is the original receipt, Lair? What is the original receipt? Pardon? I don't know. You don't know? Does anyone know? What is the original receipt? Um, um, like uh, you buy something mm -hmm. and he, and he tell you... Not a credit card. Not a credit card. He, and he tell you how much money do you buy? Do you right. So if I were to sell these gloves to Lair, Here's your gloves, and here is your receipt. Okay? So if I bought this water bottle, and this is the receipt here, and I go, eh, I don't need the receipt, throw it away. Now I have a problem. If it says, return with original receipt, I have this, but oh, no receipt. Can I return this and get a new one? No. Why not? You broke the receipt. I broke the receipt. That's right. I don't have the receipt. But if I have the receipt, can I return it? Yes. If it says return with original receipt? Yes. Okay. Yes. But I need, you need the receipt. So you need to keep your receipts all the time. Or give them to your parents. They'll know what to do with them. Here's another one. Return with original packaging. So if I buy a kettle, and let's say this is my kettle. This is my kettle. This is my receipt. Okay? And it came in this box. So I have my beautiful kettle, and this is the original packaging. This is the original packaging. If I go, Wow, look at this, this is beautiful. This I don't need. Okay. Now, oh, it's 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 broken. It ooh, it smells very funny. What if it says return with original packaging? I have the receipt. Can I bring it back? No. No, why not? You throw in the garbage, you throw the pocket. I threw the package away. So if I go, can I return this? I'll say, can I see your receipt? Yes, okay. It says, uh, return with original packaging. Where's the box? Where's the box? And I say, oh, I threw it out. And I'm sorry, we cannot, we cannot take this back. Okay. Another one. Return within so many days. 30 days. 30 days. 
They give you 30 days. So if I buy this in January, and I'm using it, and it works very well, but then it breaks, something this falls out. Oh, what? no. Oh, no. It's broken. And it is in August. 100 days later, can I bring this back and say, can you bring, can you take and replace it? Why not? Too many days, 30 days. What about five days if this breaks? Then yes, because it's less than 30 days. Sometimes you need to have a receipt and the package and within this many days, if you don't have one, then they won't take it. So, and this is very important too, final sale. Does anyone know what does that mean? Final sale. It means that once you buy something, it's yours. You cannot return it at all. So I buy it and five minutes later, it breaks. I'm sorry, it it broke. I only bought this five minutes ago. And they say, sorry, final sale. Not ours, it's yours. I'm sorry, but too bad. There's one more. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. Does anyone know what this means? Lifetime warranty? If it breaks at any time, any time, I buy this 10 years ago, long time ago. Lifetime warranty? If it, oh, it breaks... Can I bring it back? Yes. Because it has a lifetime warranty. Forever. It's good forever. There are not very many things that have a lifetime warranty. Okay. If you look on your clipboard, you have some questions. It gives you a situation. You have... um, You have a toy and it breaks. You bought it 30 days ago. The receipt says, return within 15 days. Can you return it? You only have to answer the questions, yes or no. Okay? Take some time and answer the questions. You saw that the teacher is asking the students to do a worksheet in class. If you have that worksheet, you can do it in just a moment. But before we do that, We want to make sure that you understand all the words that we're talking about on the screen. One of the words we talk about is a receipt. Now, a receipt is a piece of paper that they give you when you buy something in the store. Sometimes a receipt is a big piece of paper. Sometimes it's a small piece of paper. But it's a piece of paper that proves that you bought it in the store. It says when you bought it, and it says how much you paid for it. This is important to have if you want to return something to the store. Another term that they use is package or packaging. Packaging is what the thing came in. Sometimes it came in a box. Sometimes a very big box. Sometimes a small box. Or sometimes it comes in another kind of container. A small plastic container like this one. That is what your thing came in. It came in a box or a bag or a container of some kind. That's called the package or packaging. Something else that they talk about is the warranty. The warranty. A warranty is like a promise. It's a promise from the people who made this thing that they say, this is a good thing. It will not break. If it does break, We will replace it. We will give you another one. Sometimes they use the term a lifetime warranty. Lifetime means for your whole life, as long as you live and have this thing, that this thing will never break. And as the teacher said, not very many things have a lifetime warranty. But if it has a lifetime warranty, it doesn't matter how long it is since you bought it. If it breaks, they will fix it or replace it for you. And then, of course, he talked about final sale. Final sale. 
That means I have sold it to you and you may not bring it back. There is no promise. If this thing breaks, we will not fix it for you. We will not give you another one. You are on your own for that. Now let's turn to the worksheet. If you have that worksheet, you can complete it now. If you don't, just continue watching the video and we will do an exercise together with these things. On the top part of the worksheet, you have several different situations that are described. You have bought something and you have the receipt or you don't. There is a warranty or there isn't. So you can do that worksheet now. But we're going to review it here on the screen. We will describe the situation and then you must give the answer either yes or no whether you can bring this thing back to the store. We will show you on the screen and I will read it to you to describe what you have and how long it has been. And then I will wait for a moment and you must say either yes or no whether you can bring this thing back to the store. If you can bring it back to the store, you say yes. And if you cannot, you would say no. I will wait a moment and then I will give the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Your new toy just broke. The store needs a receipt. You don't have the receipt. Can you bring the toy back? No. Oh. Your new headphones aren't working. You need to have the original package. You have the original package. Can you return the headphones? Yes! <laughs> Your camera is broken. The warranty is for 90 days. You bought it four months ago. Can you return it? No. <laughs> Your flashlight has a lifetime warranty. It just broke. Can you return it? Yes! <laughs> Your sweater has ripped badly. The receipt says all sales final. Can you return it? No. Oh. Your watch broke. You are within the 30-day return period. You don't have the receipt. Can you return it? No. Oh. So, now we have a lot of writing here. This is everything that the store owner would say, or the, the